Welcome to Centurus's video training series. Today, we will be showing you how to make a subdimension in IBM Cognos Transformer. Centurus offers a full curriculum of Cognos courses, all led by IBM certified experts with extensive field experience outside the classroom. This video highlights the expertise of our instructors and is a small segment of a more comprehensive recording which is available for free on the Centurus website. Let's get started. How about some other dimensional design features that we have? I want to talk about a couple of the ones that I think are not always top of people's minds and uh, sometimes can be extremely powerful. So the first one is what I, what's called a subdimension. And I got a couple of different ways that I demonstrate this. It's, it's something that's not used very often. Again, I think because more than anything, a lot of folks are not familiar with this technique or not comfortable with it. Uh, your dimensions are pretty rigid if you think about their structure. Uh, you have one path to organize all your products, which goes from line to type to the individual products that we sell. Okay. So what if I have uh, different users, different analysts that need to look at these products in different ways. Well, one technique that's available is to create what are called alternate drill paths where I could allow the users to drill either in this path or maybe let them go directly to the products. Okay, um, That technique is fairly common and fairly well known, well understood. But what if I just have one product line, like my outdoor protection, that I want to behave differently than all the others? I like this structure for all my product lines except this one. Just kind of have this one exception. And that's where things get a little tricky. Now, this is, again, not a terribly common requirement, but it is something that we see uh, in business community. And then oftentimes we think, well, there's just no way for us to do that, so maybe I'll create a separate cube or a separate model for that particular product line so that you can do your reports, your analyses, or leave it up to the author to use some dimensional technique in the reports, which we now know are um, available in Report Studio to uh, do these kinds of views of the, of the data at the report level. But I tend to feel like that's overlooking some of the capabilities right here in the model. If you right click on a category, you can create what's called a sub-dimension around that category. So here you can see that for this one product line, I now have this little frame around here which lets me do things in this sub-dimension that will not impact any of the other categories in that level. I also have a new drill path. So I could actually even create alternate drilling in the sub-dimension for this outdoor protection product. But the requirement here is that we want to be able to track these products without having to navigate the product types. So I don't want this level, but only for this product line. So I can go in the sub-dimension and delete the product type level, regenerate my categories, and you can see that the path from outdoor protection drilling down will take me directly to the products, whereas my other product lines will still be navigated through the product type intermediate category or intermediate level here. Okay, So it's a simple technique. It's just a simple right-click, create the sub-dimension, um, understanding what's possible. I could create new levels here. I could delete levels from here. And it does not impact the other categories in that same level. So it's, it's a powerful technique. Again, something that's not real clear. What does it mean for sub-dimension? That's really what it's all about. We hope you enjoyed this Cognos training tip. Centurus offers a full range of Cognos training solutions. Everything from regularly scheduled online courses to one-on-one -on -one mentoring. For more information on expert-led Cognos training, contact Centurus.